you, uh, it's tough to claim favorites here on Off the Bench as the fandom usually creeps in to, uh, to the host chair. But uh, as far as LSU football players going, uh, Kevin Falk was my favorite of all time. I know we tell him that every time he comes on, so we sound like fanboys. Mine too. Uh, when he gets here. He won three rings with the Patriots. Nick Brissett was picked up by the Patriots in free agency last week after the NFL draft. Falk was at the NFL draft with the LSU contingency. He was also uh, there last night in Shreveport and with the crew this morning headed to West Monroe. The GOAT is with us now on the line. Kay Feezy, good morning. How are you? Uh, good morning. First off, I want to say thank you for the theme music. You know, every good hero needs theme music. Yes, they do. All <laughs> eyes on three, baby. Who will ever forget? Um, the message seemed to be greeted well last night with Ogeron and the people in North Louisiana. You were there. How was the room? Oh, it was very good. Uh, very lively. Um, you know how Tiger fans are. They, they, they ready for football season already. So it was just one of those things. Want to know information and see, see where the Tigers are. Every time we go on these or we get re- feedback from, from these stops, uh, obviously there's a ton of excitement just because football season is, is kind of you're, you're kind of starting to smell it a little bit with the summer coming and the off season. Um, f- from your, your point of view, uh, maybe not excitement is the right word, but what are you most looking forward to this team coming up this season? Um, stepping it up. Um, <clears throat> last year everyone thought that we was going to win, I think, five games and- the way we played the whole season long, it, it, it's time now that we can take that next level. Um, understand that, yeah, we worked hard last year, but we got to work that much harder this year to top that. And, Kevin, you've been a part of a lot of great offenses in your career in the college, in the NFL. Um, we talk about it every year. But but I am a, 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 a firm believer that this year the offense is going to go through some pretty radical change. Uh, what have you seen out of that side of the ball this spring and looking forward to the fall? Uh, it's like it's just like you said. It's going to be a different look. Um, still going to have that, you know, that physicality that we're known for. But at the same time, it's going to be a different look with us using our weapons, exploiting our receivers out there, putting them in situations, one-on-one situations. And, and what is the greatest strength of this team offensively this season? Um, whatever we want it to be. Um, I think it's one of those things we're going to find out the first few games of the season what our strength is um, and and what we do well. But at the same time, we still got to, you know, come together as a team and develop as a team throughout the, the month of June and July and through August. Yeah, June and July forged in the fires of Moffitt's strength training program. Uh, all to get ready. Yeah, exactly right. One tens when it's 110 degrees outside. No fun. But it gets you ready for the fall. You know how that is. <laughs> and, and the deal is uh, it's going to get them ready for a game the second week of the season against Texas, a game that everybody has circled on this side. Uh, in house, are y'all are y'all talking about that Texas game? Are y'all kind of is that kind of a point of motivation? Honestly speaking, <laughs> the first game of the season is the number one goal of ours right now. Um, mm-hmm. Looking at them on looking at them on film, they do some you know some different things offensively, um, defensively. We we got to play our butt off as an offense. It'll be the first game of the season, so. You're going to try to find it, find out what you can do as an offense and to try to exploit what the defense does. Negative. Bubba Abair inside the huddle, driven by the uh, Bayou Ford group. First time I ever saw Kevin Falk play. He was at Karen Crow Middle. He touched the ball eight times, had eight touchdowns. Uh, Kevin Falk joining <laughs> us here on <laughs> Off the Bench. Was well, that true, Kevin? I'm Did sure. that happen? I'm sure. <laughs> Wow, I, I got to see that film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody you talk to around the program, it seems like Joe Burrow's taking on the responsibility of being the leader in the locker room. Have you seen that? Oh, most definitely. You could tell in the spring practice um, just h- how he's carried himself and how the team understands that. Um, I think last year when he came in, it was kind of that optimistic thing, like w- will he step up and be that leader? And he did as the season went on. He had to feel his way out, but it's clear and cut right now. How you like the running back room on this team? Oh, I love the running back room. Um, it's a tough room. Um, we went through spring with only three running backs, so that just goes yeah. to show you how tough that that how tough that room is. So I love the running back room right now because of that aspect and the consistency of those guys. You got you got somebody that you think is going to surprise out of that room? Uh, yeah, that's why it's called a surprise. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. What about okay. the two incoming guys? How big of an impact can they have in, in, in Tyrion Davis and, and John Emery? Uh, they're going to have a real impact. Um, I, I think why we recruited those guys was for their different running styles and what they do differently. Um, Kevin Falk joining us here, 104.5 ESPN Baton Rouge, ESPN New Orleans, ESPN 
Alexandria. Nick Brissett gets picked up in free agency by your former team, the New England Patriots. Um, I got to imagine one of his first phone calls was to you. Uh, what did you tell him? What should he be expecting when he goes up there? Well, first of all, I was very excited for him. Uh, like I said last night on the radio, I can't, uh, on, on interview, I kind of knew when he called me that Saturday night that he had got picked up by the Patriots. It's just, just one of the feelings you had, and, and I was right in. He just asked me about the program, um, what should I expect, and you know about some certain protections and everything, if, if he would be all right with it. But like, he's a smart football player, and that, and that's why he decided to take him. So what is, if you, if you had to say a single key to making it with Belichick and Brady, like what is the key to making it, it with the New England Patriots? First off, be quiet. Yeah, right. Do your job. <laughs> like shut and, up and fall in line. Exactly. And make sure you do everything you can, uh, special teams wise, because they really love those special teams guys out there. Uh, from from Belichick and Brady up north to a new Brady down south, uh, seems like the buzz on Joe Brady coming out of spring has been fantastic and what he's bringing to the offense. What is his experience with uh, Moorhead up at Penn State, Saints, and Sean Payton? What's he bring over to Baton Rouge? Oh, he's bringing a lot of creativity, man. I, <laughs> when he first came in, I knew I knew we was good hands. I told myself, you got two of the best names, Joe Brady. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, we, we, he does a lot of creative things on offense, and it really helps, the, you know, the athletes we have out there. So let's talk about the defensive side of the ball because I think it's rare when you could lose a Devin White and a Greedy Williams and then maybe feel like you could be even better defensively this year, but that's it, it just looks like LSU is overflowing with talent. Um, what, what, what What's your take on this year's defense? You said it right, but like I said earlier, it's just for us to put all that talent together. Um, those guys that you mentioned earlier, they've played a while together. Now we got to put yep. all the all those pieces together, you know, throughout the course of the summer, uh, throughout the course of the fall camp, and get ready for the, the first game of the season. It, it seems like Dave Rand right now with guys like Jacoby Stevens are talking about moving Michael Divinity around. It seems like there's a lot of pieces that he can kind of use interchangeably. Do you, do you, do you think we'll see a ton of different looks like personnel wise out of the defense this year? I know there's going to be a, a few different looks, but I'm not, I don't I don't know about a ton of different looks because you know Coach Aranda he he does his deal. Um, whatever he feels that is going to help the defense to win a football game, that's what he's going to. do. You ever get the invite from Brady and the boys to go to the Kentucky Derby? Oh, uh, plenty of times. <laughs> Just don't have time to do it. Yeah, <laughs> you've never taken him up on that invite. Nah, I haven't. I know that's my fault. Golly, man. The gangster play of telling Tom Brady no to an invite. Yeah, that's that's about as big dog as you can get right that's there. That's as big as you can get. All right, Kev. Nah. Um, what do we anticipate tonight in West Monroe? Uh, pretty much the same thing. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of it. Uh, might have some people from the, from the crowd from last night there, but it's going to be an energetic play. All eyes on three. LSU Director of Player Development. The GOAT, greatest of all time. Kevin Falk with us here on uh, OTB this morning. Thank you, man. Safe travels on the road. I oh, appreciate it. You got it. There he is checking in from, uh, from West Monroe this morning as LSU and the Tiger Tour, the Tiger Caravan. 